Welcome back. In the last task, you practiced using the shape tools to draw a battery icon and you added the battery icon to the taskbar. In this task, you will learn about components and you will add one to your file. If you examine a website or a mobile app, you will discover that certain elements occur multiple times. For example, on the newsfeed of a social media app, you will often find that all the users who post in the app will have their information represented in clearly demarcated sections called cards. These cards can contain similar elements like the user's name, image, location, time of posting, and an image of a post with a caption. The card will also contain icons such as the share icon, the favorite icon, and the comments icon to allow users to interact with the post. In UI UX design, items that will occur multiple times are usually represented by components. A component is a reusable element in Figma that can be used across your designs. They help to create and manage consistent designs across projects. You can create components from any layers or objects you have designed. This could be a whole range of things like buttons, icons, layouts, and more. There are two aspects to a component. The main component defines the properties of the component. An instance is a copy of the component you can reuse in your designs. Instances are linked to the main component and receive any updates made to the component. So whenever you make an edit to the main component, that change is reflected in all its instances. Now let us draw an item that we'll be using a lot and convert it to a component so that we can use it repeatedly. We are going to draw an icon to represent the user's avatar. A user avatar is an image that represents the user that is interacting with the user interface. In UI design, images are represented by a shape with two diagonal lines drawn across the shape. Images occur a lot in UI design, either as avatars or as posts or as content of messages sent between users. We will be representing our user avatars with a circle that has two diagonal lines drawn across them. To do so, go to the Shape Tools and select a circle from the items in the drop-down menu. Move back to the screen and draw a circle on the screen, holding out the Shift key. The size of a user avatar in a design usually depends on the use case and the importance in a specific situation. For the purpose of this mobile app, our user avatar helps user recognize his or her account and is typically small on mobile devices. So we are going to make the dimensions of this circle small so it can be enough for a small user avatar. Change the dimensions in the properties panel to 36 points by 36 points. I am choosing to go with these dimensions because it is small enough to represent the user avatar clearly. Move the circle to the left hand of the screen using the move tool. You can also change the color from gray to white. Add a gray stroke. Next, click on the line tool from the shape tools. Draw a diagonal line across the screen. To get a perfect line at 45 degrees, hold the Shift key while drawing the line. Change the dimension of the width of the line to 36 points.
Next, click on Ctrl C to copy the line and paste it by clicking Ctrl V. Change the direction of the new line that you have copied by changing the degree to 135 degrees. That didn't work, so I changed it to minus 135 degrees. Select both lines and align them horizontally and vertically. Now group the two lines together by clicking on Ctrl G on your keyboard. With those two lines selected, click on the circle and align them using the align tools. While selecting both the circle and the diagonal lines, Group the items by clicking Ctrl G on your keyboard. Right click on the new group and click Create Components from the options presented to you. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut command Ctrl Alt K to convert the element into a component. Now that you have created this component, you can use it multiple times in your designs. Any edits you make to the original component will be repeated across all of its copies in your file. That saves you a lot of time, especially when you are working on huge projects. With that, we have come to the end of this task. In this task, you learned about components and you created one. In the next task, you are going to see how components work by using the one you created in this task to build your mobile screen designs.